Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. This week, we thought we would take a look at an application which was updated recently, which is How to Spot by How to Software, and it was just updated to version 6. Now, we've covered How to Spot in the past, and Don did an in depth walkthrough of the application last year. So, in this screencast, I'm only going to cover the new features added to How to Spot 6 instead of recovering all of the basic features. So if you've not viewed that previous screencast and have no knowledge of how to spot or how it works, you may want to view that screencast first. Now, how to spot 6 is $34 US for a single user license, $52 for a family license, and upgrades are $19 for individual and $29 for a family license if you had a previous version of how to spot. Now, because the installation process has not changed and we've covered it previously, I'll be diving right into How to Spot 6 and take a look at the interface, which has been updated to match the design of Big Sur. The How to Spot interface has undergone the changes that we've seen in Big Sur. And so, as you can see with the interface, we've got the rounded corners and we've got a similar design that we see across the board in Big Sur. And so let me highlight some of the changes to the interface itself and some of the different design elements that were moved around. Uh, one of the things you'll notice right away is that the search bar right here is a lot bigger. In previous versions of how to spot, the search bar was smaller. Another thing you'll notice is that sidebar and compact mode have moved over to the left. They used to be over on the right with all of these options over here, but they've been moved to the left, which makes sense because the sidebar is over here. So when I click on this, it gives me the sidebar and then I can click it close. And it's just a nice look to it. You can see when I click it, it stays over here so that then I can click it closed. And so again, just a, just a nice touch to the design itself. Another thing that you'll notice is that we have, if you come all the way over here, we've got this perform tasks area. And if I click on it, you see I get a menu area here that gives me options to open, open with, rename, uh, quick access to tags, copy, move, move to trash. And then I have all of these different options for where I want to reveal my search results. Now, previously, you used to have to control click on a search result item and you would get this menu and it would pop up or you'd have to get access to it in the menu bar up in the results area at the top. So now it's just included in the interface. So again, a nice design element because it gets to it more quickly so that you can get to those items based on whatever you have selected in the search area over here. Now, another thing that you'll notice that's different is we've got these bolder icons here. So the refine area and then the results area here. So it just makes it really clear what you're working with. Uh, over on the right here, we have this new show filters area right here. And if I just click on this, you see that it's now a pop-up instead of a search bar, which used to be right over here as a part of the interface before. And now I just click this item right here to show it or remove it. It just makes it a little cleaner. And we're going to talk about some of the different changes in filters as well and a couple additions that were made, but just wanted to show you that it is now right here as a separate item as opposed to a search bar right here for path information. Now you just come right here and it shows up right here. So another change that you'll notice right away if you look in the refine area is we do have a tags area over here. Now I'm gonna cover this more in depth, but this is a tags cloud of sorts. And as you'll see, it's a really nice addition to quickly get at some of your search results if you want to pare things down by tags. So if you're somebody who uses tags and you use it on a regular basis, you're really gonna like this option right here because it really does uh, let you get at things a lot more quickly without having to go through a process of setting something up up here. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So. 
If you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.